Dave brings his own patch of grass with him on tour. Oh, I used to do that. It was good. Something about comfort. I really like to enjoy the experience and um, also have some fun. I mean, boring is never as fun as not boring. Uh, sounds more comfortable. I never heard a showies mix, so I can't have an option on that aspect. This is Wire Commando. But he is very engaging. You can't really argue with his credentials in the industry. I've said, holy shit, a multiple game. Thank you, Wire Commando. That's cool. Let's see. Yeah, it really does make you think. I'd like to hear what happens when each source has its own box. That's cool. That's Grateful Dead stuff. That's the other, uh, that's other, other Dave. The last time I was at the Hollywood Bowl, says HKD126. They had a Dave Rat sub deployment for reducing low end on stage for the symphony. I said, cool, we'll take some measurements and see how it works. Well, all the subs were out of polarity in every spot I measured in the audience, listening plane as well. Turned all that nonsense he had going on off and tuned the PA as normal, was woefully unimpressed as to what I walked into. If all the subs were out of polarity in every spot you measured, and as long as it's the same everywhere, which you said it was, we're golden. Now, as far as turning all that nonsense off, the Hollywood Bowl design of subs is very cool and interesting and evolving. I mean, this is a premier venue that has a no holds barred approach to presenting the ultimate sonic experience. And yes, I did have the honor of being a consultant and working with the Hollywood Bowl and L Acoustics on sub designs that were implemented in order to reduce low frequency radiation into the shell and several versions of that. Really exciting stuff. I may go into that design on the member side. I won't share it publicly, but um, basically what the subarray that is being referred to here because uh, the one we've just done is too new for this comment to, he hasn't been there since, it hasn't been up. Uh, what we did is we had subs set up and then other subs pointing towards the stage and those subs pointing towards the stage actually are mul have multiple configurations available. You can set them up as an end fire or a cardioid to reduce the sound being propagated into the shell, or you can bypass them and not. It's pretty straightforward and it is really well thought out and um, some cool stuff. Um, sorry you didn't uh, have a good time with it, and um, but you did hero up and solve the problems for your gig, which is actually great as well. Um, Wow, that's interesting to hear, says Jim Palamo. I wonder how he managed to reach absolute top of the live sound game by pulling shit mixes. Still, it's reassuring. There's hope for any of us to get to that point. Eh, might want to think about that. Press underscore play underscore says, I can't tell if some of the discourse here is criticism or hate. Huh. Yeah, there's some blurry lines there. Relaxi Barra says, years ago I was mixing in LA in a medium sized room and left and right were definitely 180 degrees out of phase from each other. I think he means polarity. I was told this was impossible because Dave Rad had just been there to set up the system. The tech insisted it wasn't the case and it clearly was. It was really obvious and easy to AB, but the guy wouldn't acknowledge it. Who knows if Dave has anything to do with it. I just thought it was odd. And this dude was so inconsistent that he could possibly be anything. Obviously flipped the phase on one side and the show sounded fine. You're a hero, Relaxi Barra. Hey, maybe I screwed up. I definitely would not put one half of the PA out of polarity. I am very attentive. Anyone's attentive to polarity, phase, time, and distance issues, that would be me. Um, my drum miking technique, I look at polarity. I mean, do you put your kick drum in polarity or out of polarity with the drum fill? Which is the correct way? I've done demonstrations that show that. What about snare? What if you mic the top of a tom or the bottom of a tom? These are all polarity considerations. What about perspective? Should the kick mic be in polarity for the drummer? 
What about for the singer in the front wedges? The singer's on the open end of the kick. So he's getting, or she's getting, a polarity hit with a positive pressure, whereas the drummer's getting a polarity, the beater's pushing the head away. They experience two different polarities. How do you send your monitor sends? These are all interesting aspects that can be looked at and improve the quality of your show if you get them right. Let's go on. Sound, Paul, sound PWNS909. I don't usually take it that far, but I do often hard pan separate sources and subs. Yeah, he's experimenting. That's cool stuff. Seems like nobody understands Dave Ratt, but everybody believes they understand Dave Ratt more than anyone else, says Al Fata Dose of Marmite. A fatal dose of Marmite. Aha. Uh -huh. I do like Marmite. Didn't like it at first. I thought it was terrible. And then I finally asked an Australian I was traveling with, what was this thing about Vegemite? And uh, they said, I said, if I was to like it, what would convince me? And they made me some hot buttered toast with some Vegemite. It was delicious. And then I went on to Marmite. It was good stuff. Hey, I learned, I asked, I experimented. But I, before that, I was one of those people. I was like, oh my God, how could you eat that stuff? Um, cool. Well, I wouldn't want a fatal dose of it, but that, um, yeah. Uh, I have never heard Dave mix, but I have mixed on several Rat Sound PAs, says TJ Occultist. And hated every goddamn minute I did. Leads me to believe that I don't want to hear him mix. Oh my goodness, I have... I am so crushed that you had a bad experience, TJ Occultist. And BW, BDWF responds, aren't they mostly L acoustics? Were they just hung wrong or something? Well, we've been mostly L acoustics since the 90s. Um, and um, yeah, most of the rigs we put out are L acoustics rig. And you know, I mean, there's some engineers like them, some don't. Hating every goddamn minute of an L acoustics PA, one of the premier boxes in the world. I mean, I could have, I could understand having affinity for different manufacturers, but when you get into these top realm boxes, they're all really good. Um, so hating every minute of it, uh, minute of it um, that seems. Like it may not be sound system related. Let's see what else is said here. ASP underscore digital says, are you talking about the rat trap boxes? Ooh, that's good. The rat traps um, designed a PA, toured the world with it. High density, double 15, double 10, two inch, one inch, quad amp tops, plus double 18 subs, stereo five way system. In its day, it held its ground pretty well. Um, hating every goddamn minute of it. We actually went out of our way to over deploy and continue to. Um, that's one of the basis of uh, what we've done and I've done as a person and as a sound company as well. Over deploy the sound systems, pay attention, turn down the gig if they don't have the budget to do it right. Engineer here says, did you use two kick mics panned left, right? and pan, snare, top left, and bottom right. Maybe that's why it sounded doo-doo. All right, well, there's some good stuff. 